This is Dr. Nizdeep Kumar, Assistant Professor, IRE, Hyderabad. So now in this video, we will see problems from module 4. The first problem is what? Problems on torque and rate of twist. Let's how to find the torque and rate of twist. So this will be the problem on torque and rate of twist will be the lecture topic. So that's the first question. An idealized thin walled closed section beam subjected to torsion T is as soon below figure. Derive the equation of what? Equation of torsion and rate of twist. So what do we have to do here? We have to derive the equation of torsion. That's why I just said it here. Equation of torsion and rate of twist. We have to derive. And this figure is given. Right. So now just see in this figure what is given. Like torque is here along this z-axis is there. X-axis, y-axis, this in is fixed. Here what they did just like earlier, just a small elemental area, they have taken that their distance is delta z, thickness is given as t, b, okay, this length is given as b and this one, our height you can say that given as b and width of this given as a and the total length of this is given as l. So along this the qa, cf flow distribution that will be there and here it's a qb, so qa is happening like this and qb is like this. So this is given in the figure. You can see the idealized rectangular section being built in at one end and subjected to torque and other. So this is the condition that built in at one end. Okay. So see here. This is B is what? That is the boom area. So it's what? Replaced. That's why here it's named as idealized. So after idealizing what we are doing, whatever the strangest parts are there or anything, just we are converting into the boom. So now booms are here. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to derive the equation of torsion and rate of twist. Okay, so now let's see first what is rate of twist. The angular deformation of an object caused by a few twisting torque is known as angle of twist. It's because of the torque what happened, if any angular deformation is there in the object, then we can say that is the rate of twist, the angular twist. Angle of twist is what? By what angle it's getting twisted? So just see here, that is given as theta. For rate of twist, we need differentiate with respect to z because we are applying torque along the means Theta is angle of twist, right? So theta, and once we will differentiate this theta with respect to z, d theta by dz, this we will get the rate of twist. So angle of twist with respect, differentiate angle of twist with respect to what? z along that z, then you will get the rate of twist. Or else if you know the rate of twist, just integrate, you will get angle of twist. Okay? So let's see how. So in figure one, first, suppose that the CR flow in the cover and wave at any section are QA and QB. That is the given that also I told that CR flow is what QA and QB respectively. From anti-symmetry, the CR flow in both covers will be QA and QB in both waves QB. The resultant of this shear flow is equivalent to the applied torque. So that whatever the total will be there, the T is equals to Q P D S. Now, what will be that in both the side, or you can just see the figure. If this side it's a QB, then other side that also QB. Here QA with this side also having the QA. So two QA, two QB. Right here. So QA is two Q A. This A. And P that a boom area is A for first case, so here B. So A and DS is at B by 2, A by 2. So this is what the torque. Now just simplify this one. So after that, what we can write this as 2 QA into AB by 2. 2 to cancel plus 2 QB into B into A by 2. 2 to cancel. So just see here. 2 QA into B by 2. Just opposite. So here B into A by 2. So now what from here what you will get Q A A B plus Q B A B B I am writing just A B. Now in both the term A B A B is there. So just take common A B. So A B common. After that, what I will get Q A plus Q B. So this is T. Okay. So this here T equals to A B into Q A plus Q B. So this is first equation. Okay, now we can express Q as that say flow distribution that already we had seen this one in two dimensional one, right? So in terms of the wrapping and tangential displacement W and Vt of a point in the beam wall by using that already we had seen this many times, right? So Q is 
जी टी इंटू डेल डब्ल्यू बाई डेल एस प्लस डेल वी बाई डेल जेड और हियर लाइक जैसे वी टी इज देर सो यू कैन से हियर दैट दिस इज डेल वी टी to determine qa and qb so now what is required here we know a and b but we don't know qa and qb once we know the qa and qb substitute here we will get the value of applied torque so for that first what we require to find qa and qb so how we will find by the shear flow this one equation since the beam cross section is doubly symmetrical the axis of twist passes through center of symmetry at any section so wherever you will see because it's a doubly symmetrical Right, so wherever you will see that will their axis of symmetry will pass through what the center only. So that this displacement in a loading case such as pure torsion because no other load, only the pure torsion are equivalent to a pure rotation. So pure torsion is pure rotation only about some point. Just imagine any point that particular value where is there that point R whose coordinate is x R comma y R in the cross section where R is the center of Twist. So R is center of twist, and that coordinate is x r comma y r. So V T is what P R into theta. Now differentiate this one. So after differentiating, what we will get del V by del T del V T by del Z equals to P R is constant, right? Theta becomes d theta by d Z. Okay. Therefore, for the covers of the beam, del V T by del Z is what P R. P R is how much? That is b by two into d theta by d z. So this is for this one. And for the web del b t by del z is simply just here p r and so for here that p r will be a by two for the web. So d b by d t sorry d del b t by del z for the web is equals to a by two d theta by d z. Now how they are related? So just see that figure is here. The establishment of displacement relation and position of center of twist of beam. Either it's open or closed. So just see here how that is there. So this is the P R, and here that is given that center that R as x comma R comma y, and that angle is given as this psi. So this is velocity along x direction. This is y, and here it's angle of twist that theta that also is required by what angle we can twist. Okay. So this angle is psi. That this figure earlier also we had seen there also I explained. So just here you have to use that one. Now the next is shear distortion of a element on the top cover and element of the right hand side. So now if this is there, right? So first in starting this one. Now after that, what happened because of the twist? It's a minus W by this amount. So here from here now this H came here. This H is here. This H is here and this H is here. So this is just delta Z shear as is acting in this direction, right? So for upper part, this is right the element of the So this is for the top one, and in this case, this is the same. This will be the b by two, just like a by two, or the here this will shift by this delta. So here it's shifting anti-clockwise. That's why this is positive, and in this case, this is negative, right? Meaning everything will be same. So this is for right hand wave, and this is for what the top cover. How the shear distribution, that distortion will be there, or how that will change there. Now here, so these things are here. The element of length d z of the covers and waves of the beam wrap into the shape shown in figure four. So that is here, the wave, the uh, cover, and wave is here. If t is positive torque, that is counterclockwise means anticlockwise, and b by t b is greater. Than, sorry, this is b by t b thickness of b. And that is greater than a by t a, not a a. You don't cancel a. That a is sub superscript. Sorry, subscript. So b by t b. That t b is thickness of side b, and t a is thickness of side a. Clearly, there must be compatibility of displacement at adjacent is of the element. So now here, what we have to do that we have to apply the compatibility equation. So for that, what is required? That graph is required. So first, just see from the figure four a. That for here, this is for minus delta. Minus W, so minus W into A by two. In this case, W into D by two. So for from figure A, del W S by del S equals to minus W by A by two. For w, for figure from figure B, del W S by sorry, del W by del S equals to W by B by two. So now from figure four point one and four point two, that for four A and four B, we found del W by del S in both the cases. 
now substituting for del w by del s and del v t by del z in equation two separately for the covers and waves. Now just put for two. So now for first q a this will be what just here or you can see del w by del s we found this one for covers and for waves. So now substitute here we got del w s by da del s and del v t by del z. So just substitute but separately for cover separately for web separately. So here after substituting del b by del del v t by del z we got earlier v2 by b sorry b by 2 into d theta by dz and just now we got del w by del z as minus 2 w by f. So similarly here just put for q a and q b. Now substituting okay so hmm. now substituting q a and q b in equation 1. So now we have q a and q b right just substituting equation 1. We are here. So t will be equal to a b into q a and q b we found. So from there. So let's see t equals to q a b. Now g so here in this case g t a is there and q a is g t b. So here g we can take common and earlier already a b is there. So a b g is common t a into this term plus t b into this term. Right. That is here. Now what happened? Now just rearrange that one. So after rearranging what happened? Just take d theta one side and all other sides. So just see how to rearrange. Right. What we have? I am just writing after multiplying this one. So a b also. Right. This whole thing multiplying. So first here. t will be equals to a b g t a into minus also, I'm just writing a minus 2w by a, then plus abg into this one. So, abg into b by 2 into d theta by dz. So, first term over. Now, then plus abg into tb into 2w by b. So, this multiplied by this one. Now, plus a b g into a by 2 d theta by d z right this is there now let's see what we can cancel here so a we can cancel here where we can cancel what sorry here we can cancel b so now what we have t equals to b g t by a sorry t a into 2 w okay plus a b square g by 2 into d theta by dz plus from here a g t b into 2 w by 2 w plus here a square b g by 2 into d theta by dz. Now take d theta by dz one side okay and the other things that other side right remaining things so here which term this term having d theta by dz and this term having d theta by dz so just taking that one so here the see both are positive so keep this to this side and these two to the other side sorry so this is minus sign here right so this will go that side and it becomes plus so after that what we will get and the so so t plus this one b g t b q w okay this will be minus a g t b okay q w this will be that is equals to what this whole thing so I am taking d theta by dz common because that only we have to find right after that what we will get a b a square by 2g plus a square b by 2g. Now we can take common from here a b. Then what we will get b g and here so g. So here a g. So just see here. That after a g also we can take common here. So just see here. After that, after taking a b g common b t a from here, right? From this term. 
and so once you will put that on and then divide this whole thing this whole thing to the other side so two terms will be this divided by this whole thing and this whole divided by this whole thing so after that what you will get or simply you can just after simplifying okay you will get d theta by dz equals to 4w into b 4w into b into ta minus a into tv divided by ab into bta plus atv plus 2t by ab into ab g into b into ta plus a into tv okay so this is what hmm. so this equation that equation actually this 6 is here so this equation is what the equation of torque now once you have the equation of torque then what happen just simplify and separate d theta by dz term that because that is the rate of twist just separate and then find d theta by dz and that will be the rate of twist so this i that just see equation 6 gives torsion equation and equation 7 gives the rate of twist so this is the torsion equation so torsion equation is what t equals to a b g whole into t a into minus 2 w by a plus b by 2 into d theta by dz plus t b into 2 w by b plus a d theta by 2 z so this is torque equation now by just rearranging once we know the torque then what is the d theta by dz we can find so d theta by just uh, rearrange and just take the common d theta one side and remaining other side after that what you will get d theta by dz as 4w into bt a minus atb by ab into bta plus atb plus 2t by abg into b into ta plus a into tb don't here just see that is subscript ta tb don't a like that okay hmm. so this is the torsion equation and so just see quickly one minute so that is given right what we have to find so here yeah. okay so from this figure that is given right the torsion and that we have to find what equation of torsion and rate of twist that already i explained here this side having thickness ta this having thickness tb this b is a bone area shear flow along this is acting qa then from the below also it will qa in this direction for this side if it's qb then for the other side also qb will be there that this cross section after twisting this part is getting twisted so why that just a small element of the step for we are finding and that as del z this whole length is given as l right so now next what we will do just defining rate of twist rate of twist is what the angular deformation of an object caused by a few twisting torque that is or you can say just rate of twist is d theta by dz differentiate angle of twist with respect to z that will give you the rate of twist now so finally the torsion will be equals to what q into p ds now q from that we have to find so just see q that q is for first case it's a okay and in both the cases two to surface will be there one bottom two so 2 qa here 2 qb right so 2 qa into p ds so here p ds is what a into b by 2 similarly 2 qb into b into a by 2 So after simplifying this, what you will get? A B into Q A plus Q B. Now here A B is already given. That is constant. That we cannot. Now what is required? Q A and Q B. Once find Q A and Q B, just substitute here. You will get the torsion equation. Once you will have the torsion equation, just study arrange. You will get the equation of twist or rate of twist. So now to find Q A and Q B, what we have to do? Just start with the what? Shear flow distribution equation. So what is that? Q equals to for two dimensional Q equals to G T into del W by del S plus del V by del Z. Or you can say that that del V T by del Z. Now here you have to find del W by del S for both and del V T by del Z for what top cover and wave. Now so to determine Q A and Q B, what we have to do? Just take any point. So V T is P R into theta. Just differentiate del V T by del Z is P R into V theta by Dz. So now, what will be the PR for the upper and wave? So just see here. For the covers, that is, this will be PR will be V by two, and for the wave, that will be A by two. So now, for the covers, del Vt by del Z is V by two into d theta by dz. For this, what that means wave, del Vt by del Z 
equals to a by 2 into d theta by d2. So now we have del bt by del z to both. Now what is left? Del w by del z we have to find for covers and waves. So now here just see that is given. Del z is given. Now this is twisted in clockwise direction. So that clockwise is what we are taking negative. So that's why minus w is there. And counterclockwise or anticlockwise positive. So this is w. What is given? That b by 2. In this case, that is a by 2. So just we have to find from here. So from this figure, what happened? Del w by del s is minus w a by 2. And from figure b, that w, del w by del s is w into b by 2. Now we have both. Right. Just substitute. So after substituting, what we will get separately? Oh, cover and web. So separately substituting means q a into g t a minus this is del w by del s for cover, del b t by del z for cover. 2 w by b for wave 2 w. So after this, now you have q a q b substituting equation 1. That torque equation. So from here, you get this is the torque equation. Now just rearrange the torque equation. Take d theta by dz one side and all other things on the other side. Then you will get the rate of twist. Okay. So this is the reference that you can see that Thomas Henry Gordon that mention book is there. Okay, so you can just refer this book if you have any doubt. You can just comment on the video. I will clarify that out or you can just contact me. Okay, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.